welcome to Morning Coffee with Pizan Academy. I'm Deanna, and today I want to talk to you about a New Year's resolution or a goal or something that you've put on your list of things to do in 2020. And that is if you've decided that you want to read more books this year, and particularly classics, I wanted to give you 10 options of shorter classic works that you can read. And these would also be great for you to share with your children. You can read them together. You can maybe spend a couple hours on the weekend or throughout the week and read and then talk about these works. And it's a really good way that you and your children can come together over something that can be a goal for the whole family throughout the year. So we're gonna go through 10 options for you. And we'll also put some links in the description below to a couple websites that have some other works of shorter classics that you can read. Now, all of these are going to vary for age level. Some will be good if you have younger children or if you have older children. So you'll have to decide which you wanna read um, if you wanna make it for the whole family. Number 10. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Rip Van Winkle by Washington Irving. These two stories were published in 1820 and combined their only 83 pages. Now, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow is kind of a horror tale, which has been really fun. I remember reading it when I was a kid and loved it. And then Rip Van Winkle is a story about a man who falls asleep before the Revolutionary War, wakes up 20 years later after the revolution, and it's his experience of that. So they're both really interesting. They come from um, a whole group of works in Washington Irving's sketchbook, but these two are great for the whole family to read and discuss together. Number nine, A Room with a View by E.M. Forster. This is 119 pages. It was published in 1908, and this is a just wonderful novel. In fact, I reread it recently for our high school curriculum that we were putting together. And it's just a really beautiful tale about society and coming of age, and the writing is just so wonderfully put together. Uh, it's about a story of two young people who meet in Italy, totally different classes, and how throughout the novel they just keep on running in and out of each other's lives and what happens with that. Forrester's writing is really just very rich and he's writing in this post-Victorian era, so things are opening up a little bit from being in a more conservative time period. Number eight, The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. This is a short novel, 93 pages, that was written in 1944, and it can be read by children and adults. Um, it is just so charming. It's the story of a little boy who leaves his happy life to explore the universe, and he ends up on Earth, and and it's his observations of adults and what happens. So it's just a beautiful moral tale and the illustrations are exquisite. So I highly recommend this um, for yourself or even for the whole family to read. Number seven, Songs of Innocence and Experience by William Blake. This is 56 pages and it is a work of poetry that was published in 1789. And you could choose any poetry, Emily Dickinson, Wordsworth, Walt Whitman. Poetry is a great way to get some classics in that are shorter. You don't have to read the entire work um, of a particular poet. But this is a wonderful story about the difference in the innocence of childhood and then as you grow older, the experience of an adult. So maybe read this and then The Little Prince or those could be really fun to read alongside each other and then think about the two different experiences is a couple of hundred years apart. Another really great thing about reading this particular work by William Blake or like Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman is that when you read a compilation of poetry by a poet that has a particular theme, it just integrates all of the works and they end up telling a story. And even though it's through individual poems, it's just a very rich experience. Number six, Orlando by Virginia Woolf. This was written in 1928, it's 134 pages, and it's the story of a man who goes to sleep and wakes up as an immortal woman. 
It's an interesting tale and you go through about 300 years of history. So it's a really fun, engaging story. And um, so I've put it on the list. Now Virginia Woolf has some other shorter works if you've already read this and you wanna explore some of her other works as well. Number five, Candide by Voltaire. This is only 84 pages. It was written in 1759, and Voltaire composed this work in just three days. It's the story of a man, Candide, who lives his life in a world that he's told is the best world possible, and everything happens for the best. But as he leads his life, he finds this harder and harder to believe. So it's sometimes considered a little more philosophical than some other classic works, but it's still a very interesting read. Number four, The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. This was written in 1843 and is only 40 pages. It's a horror story about a man who's committed a murder and who slowly goes insane over it. Um, it's a wonderful tale and uh, Poe has some other short stories that you can read as well. The Raven, The Cask of Amontillado, or The Murders at the Rue Morgue. Um, so there are a lot of options in terms of Poe. You can get a compilation and just choose one or two stories to read if you'd like. And as a bonus, we have a video on our channel of a dramatic reading of Telltale Heart. So you can read it and then watch the video. We'll put the link right up here. Number three is a work that I think everyone should read at some point in their lifetime. It is The Prince by Machiavelli. It is 164 pages, written in 1532. It is surprisingly still apropos in the modern world. It's the story of how one should rule, and in some cases, how one shouldn't rule. So it's a political work, it's nonfiction, but it is such an amazing read, and it reads like a story. So I highly recommend reading this, and definitely appropriate for high school students. Number two, The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. This is a short story. It's only 30 pages, published in 1892. It gives insight into the life of an upper-class woman and some of the issues that she would have had to deal with and not having a lot of opportunities afforded to her. And so it's a very interesting read and it's a bit of a mystery and the ending has a little bit of a twist if you haven't read it before. And so it's a really fun to discuss and speculate and try to understand some of the imagery and what's happening in the story. So this would be great again for a high schooler or an advanced middle schooler to read along with you. And our top pick for shorter classic works that you can read in 2020 would be my favorite Gothic novel, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. It is only 166 pages, first published in 1818. It is a wonderful story of morality and humanity. And uh, Frankenstein is not the monster, it's actually the doctor. And you, throughout the story, you learn more about who is more human and who is more of a monster. So I hope you enjoy this list. Uh, again, we'll have some links to some other classic novels from other lists that you can look at in the description below. If you're enjoying our videos, please like them, subscribe, share with your friends, check out our other social media within the links below on the description. I'm off to read some classic works. Have a great day.